So it didn't even compress it? No, nothing. Let's listen to the original track pitched by you. What effects did you put on this? Oh, look. You see? Alright. Some EQ, low scut. And I did some reverberation with Azitop. It was the first time I tried it. Did you just set it up at random? Yeah. How does it sound without any effects? Well, not huge difference. More lows, no echo. How many tones did you pitch it up? Well, I can't remember. One, three or four semitones. Did you just pitch it straight away or did you try something else? It was the very first variant. Alright, next. Well, kick. Straight. Vengeance. Any effects? It sounds pretty hard. No. I wanted to cut some high range, but I didn't. Did you increase the volume? I'm doing it here. So you see... Oh, alright. Oh, the kick is at maximum. Yeah, it's all even here. Did you color the tracks before our stream? Nope, that's my te template. You know templates? I just prepared it for myself. To group channels. Hit the like if you do it the same way. And now your unique baseline. Is this you clicking? Yeah. Well, let's look at the synth. It's actually a sample. Oh, seriously? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Vengeance sample. So you just took a sample and created a baseline with it, right? Alright. And then a sidechain and an EQ. Yeah, like that. The side chain is at maximum. So it didn't even compress it? No, nothing. It already sounds really compressed. Well, please play the sample separately. Oh, it's pretty low. You got sub bass? No, no layering. Oh, seriously? Just the bass? Well, I can't stop wondering, my friends. Are there any more tracks? Well... Here are claps. Well, effects, effects, no effects. Vengeance claps, right? Yeah, Vengeance Deep House. Cashmere Crash. The only track you're not using Vengeance samples on. I had... I had... Vengeance Deep House 2 hi-hats. And the second bass line. I have these bass lines on the same channel. Is it another bass sample? It's also a sample. Vengeance New Disco Bass Step 003. Play it separately, please. I thought there's the same bass line, but we changed settings in the remix. But you actually put two bass lines to the track. Well, snares... Cashmere snares. 
Тоже без обработки. No effects. Да, без обработки абсолютно. Это выход из ямы, да? Oh, straight out of the, out of the pit. A build up. And here's a breakdown. <laughs> Well, it's got some vibe in it. How long did you adjust the original track to the tempo? It's pretty uneven as far as I can see. Well, yeah... I have several steps in it. First I take the original track, the tempo, I take the tempo, then I adjust the key, and when it's adjusted, I take its tempo and also adjust it. Some people do it with pitch range, and I can't do it like this. How did you eventually adjust the tempo? I I open a separate file, put the original track there, adjust the key, and save it. Oh, that's a weird way of doing it. Here's a life hack. Take the original track. If you don't know the original tempo, put it to the mix master. It can tell you the original tempo. Then you put this track to ERFL project, click twice. Look for the time knob. Time scratching, you see? Right click. Auto, auto detect. And then type in BPM. Then you insert the original tempo here. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Yeah, enter the original tempo, enter. And the track is adjusted to your project tempo. So, whatever tempo you do, it's gonna be in the proper tempo. Your way was pretty weird. I only did this at random. Alright, the main question. What effects do you use for mastering? Oh, a separate project. Oh, you're like a huge producer. Nope. My, co my computer is quite weak. <laughs> Alright, back to that project. To the Master project. Studio-wise. So you knew you would have a stream. It was also named in an obscene way, so I renamed the project. Oh, was it also known... Uh, was it also named Penis? So you just created the track and named it like Penis. I try not to swear. Alright. Oh, don't laugh now, please. Can, can I show it now? Sure. You have a limiter on that, right? Nope, all zone, and that's it. Well, you can do plenty of things with all zone. Well, I just took a preset and did some EQ. But the rest of the functions are also on. Yeah, maximizer and stuff. So you just tried some presets and chose the one you like the most, alright. Let's listen to how it sounds with and without mastering. Why is it top on? Well, it's become a bit brighter. Well, there's more mids in it. Well, voice, hi-hats, like that. What's the preset? Well, now I don't do mastering like this, so... Alright, hip-hop master basic. A hip-hop mastering for dance track. Oh, the original is a hip-hop track, okay. Well, I just tried the presets in a row, or maybe I haven't even changed anything. Oh, nope, I did. Alright, back to your project. Let's look at the overall time you spent on it. Alright, project settings. Oh, tw two hours, just like I said. Two and a half hours. 
2 часа 22 минуты, Димон, я тебе скриншот скидывал. Я просто 10 минут переименовал. So, yeah, the 21st of March. Oh, great. I have seen quite much, so now I don't even wonder that a hit can be created in two and a half hours.